Hi, welcome back to the cabin, dinky do, dinky do. Hi to oh no, that's not right, is it? Hi to everybody. Hope everyone's keeping well. Hope everyone's all right. Now listen, I'm sorry I disappeared for a couple of weeks. I've had a lot of stuff going off in the background, so I've not managed to have a video. So, so before we start, before we start, we have another sponsor. Rio Link again. This is the second time we sponsored us, so thank you, Rio Link. So the, we're advertising today a security camera. So before we start the video, I'm going to go into the sponsorship part and I'll show you all the information and I'll be back in a minute. This is a Rio Link Atlanta Pan and Tilt Ultra. There's a 5% discount code for this item and that will be in the description below and for more information that will follow shortly. This is the Real Link official website and the product you're looking at is a product that I'm promoting and it's an Atlas PT which is Pan and Tilt Ultra. Now as you can see it's an industry leading 4K continuous recording battery camera. It comes with a solar panel, so there's no mains electric required at all. So we'll just go through the information. The highlights of it is a 4K continuous recording. The battery power, when it's fully charged from the sun, will last for 96 hours on a single charge. You can see the colour quality even in night vision. It's got a long battery. It does 360 all round security, auto tracking, solar panel ready, you get the solar panel with it. I would consider buying the 512 memory card, that's what I have and it's a lot better with that. Uh, it's dual band Wi-Fi 6 network. It's award winning as well, as you can see all the awards it's won. It's a stunning 4K continuous recording capture every detail with unparalleled clarity the real link atlas pt which is pan and tilt ultra records in 4k ensuring you never miss a moment now there you are that's the battery it lasts for 96 hours You can see the difference between daylight and night time as well. And it's also tracking as you can see. Now this is where you can tell as well the daylight and the night time. On the left is the daytime picture and on the right is the night time. So it's very clear even at night. And again, that's nighttime viewing as well. So you can see how crystal clear it is. And it's 360 field of view with auto tracking. It'll track people, vehicles and animals. And it's a 6 watt solar panel. It's eco-friendly and it's very, very simple to set up. It shows how simple it was. Even I could do it. <laughs> and that's the information. Now we're back to the top of the page again. And I just wanted to put the video that they have on. It's a very short video. Now if you are interested in buying this, the link to buy it is here. And that's the information. Now if you do want to buy this, 
Um, if you go on to buying it, obviously, you go to your cart down at the bottom and you go to buy. Then if you put in the discount code Penny Glen Homestead, you'll also get 5% knocked off as well. Now, as a disclaimer as well, if anybody does buy this, then Penny Glen Homestead channel gets a small commission off them as well. So I am being honest and saying that as well. But all money raised goes back into the channel. So thank you very much, Rio Link, for sponsoring the video. Welcome back now. Thank you, Rio Link, for sponsoring this week's video. Thank you so, so much. And remember, just in case I didn't say in the video, which I'm sure I have done, if you look in the description underneath this video that you're watching, you'll see a link to the Rio Link website where well, you can go on, uh, you, you know, take you straight through to their website. And also, it, just in case I haven't told you, which I know I have, I know I've told you this bit, but if anybody's interested in buying the product, don't forget when you go to check out in the discount code, put in Penny Glen Homestead and you get 5% off as well. So, so that's it. So thank you to them. Right, now back into the video. <laughs> I'm in a jolly old mood. Now, now, right, I'll be honest with you, we've done the whole jobs. Kev's not been so good. He's been on a really big downer. He's, he's not been well at all. I've been really worried about him. So I've been trying to feed him up with good meals and stuff. So last couple of days, he said he's feeling a bit better on himself. He has pottered around and done jobs because he likes pottering about and keeping his mind active and that. Now, we've only had a couple of days in this last fortnight where it's been nice weather the rest of the time it's just been a washout up here it's been terrible weather so what i thought i'd do is tell you a couple of funny stories before i go right it's only a short video this week next week we've got another sponsor and it's a good stuff for that as well so what it is i'll tell you a couple of short stories that you'll like right are you ready you like this you like this right tracy's brother my brother-in-law, Mark, right, he's a really nice man, a very, very smart man. He always wears a suit wherever he goes. No matter where it is, he'll wear a suit. I tell you how bad he is for wearing a suit. I got an allotment in Penniston. Now, some of you who might know Barnsley, I know Paul does, and he knows Penniston. Well, at the back of the library, Paul, I don't know if you know, but there's a, an allotment. There's only about eight plots, and I got a plot. So Tracy's brother, Mark, said, I tell you what, I'll go ask for you, because it might be a bit big for you. So I says, this is going back like 20 odd years. So I said, yeah, that'd be great. Anyway, I came up this one Sunday for the first weekend. And I kid you not, Mark was there with his suit on, with a spade and his, his best shoes on, turning the allotment over. Honestly, he actually came up with a suit on to do that. Unbelievable, isn't it? And I'll tell you another funny story. If he's watching this, he'll be cursing me, right? Wherever he went, like I said, he always wore a suit, right? Now, he's, he always wears a suit and he used to wear, what he used to wear, he used to have at one point a briefcase wherever he went. Now, there was nothing ever in this briefcase, it was empty, right? Nobody knew that. But what nobody knew was, once a week he used to go uh, swimming with his other brother-in-law, right? And what he used to do, he used to walk into the leisure centre with his suit on and his briefcase. But what nobody knew was, when he got into the changing rooms and go in a cubicle, he'd open up his briefcase, and in his briefcase were his towel and his trunks. <laughs> that is a true story, that. That is a true story. Now, I'm going to tell you another little story, right? I've told you before, I used to be in a rehab centre in Barnsley. I've never took drugs in my life. It's just, I suffer with bipolar, in case any of you don't know. <laughs> it might explain why I'm crazy. But I suffered with bipolar and I was in a rehab centre, right, for many years after I came out of hospital, right? And in this rehab centre, there was this there was this bloke who there was one of these residents that were in there, his name was Tim, right? Now, Tim, before we start, is a really kind, really, really nice man. I'm not kidding you. He'll be nearly 60 now, I bet. And he's a really, really nice man, right? Now, when he became unwell, he went to, he disappeared and he went to live in Nottingham Forest. True story this, right? right? Now these stories I'm going to tell you about Tim, 100% true, right? 
So he went to live in Nottingham Forest and ripped, he ripped his benefit books up and he decided to live off the land. So he got this tent and he went deep into Nottingham Forest, right? Then he found it, he was struggling to survive, right? So what he did was he studied this area and right at the side of Nottingham Forest, I don't know where this is, there's this terrace row, row of houses, right? And he noticed a milkman with a milk float, because Barnsley used to have milk floats and also oh, nearly all the country had milk floats, didn't they, with milk board. And this, the milkman used to come along, stop, and drop milk and bread and all this lot down. So what Tim did, he got a pen and paper and he wrote down two loaves of bread and uh, 15 eggs. And then another piece of paper, he put three pints of milk, another one, two milk, uh, two oranges and, and sausages, bacon, all, all stuff like that. Anyway, he bobbed them in all these, these uh, doorsteps. Anyway, milkman come and he's there uh, putting everything on. Thinking, hey, I'm going to make some money here. As soon as he drove off, Tim ran up with his carry bag, chucked everything in and legged it back into wood. Now that's a true story, right? He was also, when he was living in the wood, he'd been there a long time. Anyway, he heard this twig snap when he was in his tent. He poked his head through the door to see what it was, thinking it were wildlife, and it was only a ranger, and he put shotgun to his head. He says, you've got two hours to get out at wood, or else I'm having you. True story, that. So he legged it out of wood, right? Now, when he was in rehab with us, right, we used to go to the leisure centre, Barnsley Leisure Centre, Right, and we used to go swimming. Well, I didn't go swimming. I used to go in the balcony above because I'm petrified of water. Right? I don't like water, right? So they used to have this big swimming pool with a, with like diving boards. Well, anyway, they've got one that's massive right up, like Olympic job, really high up, right? Now, Tim's a big man, right? But he's solid. He's absolutely solid. So anyway, he's climbing all the way up. And me and Gary's like looking through the window and we're going, he's not going to jump off there, surely? And he went right to the top and and he ran along. You know that you know that PTK one where he runs along and he goes like that and he hits the water and all the water comes out? Well, Tim did that. Um, I kid you not. We always say, me and Gary, that when Tim jumped in, the water jumped out, because it's Yorkshire saying water instead of water. The water jumped out and that's true that, right? That's true. Now I'll tell you another story, right? Right, when we used to go to the boat, we used to, Years ago I used to do keep fit before I became ill and I used to go weight training and I did all stuff like I used to go do jogging and running and all sorts. I was really, really fit before <laughs> before I came holding decrepit. So I used to go in Barnsley. There used to be a pub called the Junction Pub or the Junction Inn, right? But at the back of that there was one of these really old fashioned gyms, weight training, boxing gyms. It only had one ring, boxing ring in it, and it had like two or three box uh, punch bags, speedball, uh, and then you, you had to walk through the gym, skimmy, skimmy down the side, and then you, at the back of there were the, were the weight gym. Now this weight gym was something like out of a Rocky film, it was that old. Right, I'm telling you, it was like something out of a Rocky film. But to get past the boxing ring, to get round to this gym, you had to scrape along the wall. And I kid you not, and I will never forget it till the day I die. All the walls, all the way around, were splattered with blood. They were painted white, and over every 12 months they got repainted. All the blood were painted off them. And there were just blood everywhere, all over the walls. I never forgot that. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Now listen, I'm going to leave you in peace, but thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be doing some stuff this week. I'll guarantee I will be doing because there is a few jobs in Kev want to be doing. And I will see you next week back down at the cabin. And don't ever forget, dinky do, stay safe, stay well. I'll see you next week.